Psychology, the study of the interaction between living and non-living things. Psychology all begins with an organism, which is a living thing. The example we're going to see is of the fox. So an organism can be represented by one single fox. A fox is a living thing. But is an organism the sun? Mm. No, the sun is non-living and is not an organism. So to recap, an organism is one living thing. But if I wanted to make an organism fit the definition of a population, I'd have to change a few things. I'd have to add more foxes to this picture because a population is a group of the same organisms. So a population would be a group of foxes all living together. But would one single rabbit be a population? Mm. No, a rabbit by itself is an organism. A group of rabbits would be a population. So to recap, a population is a group of the same organisms living together. But if I wanted to make a population a community, we'd have to change a few things. In a community, you still have the population of foxes, but you also have other populations that the fox might come across. A population of rabbits, a population of snakes, even a population of birds. And don't forget, plants are living things too. A population of trees also help to define a community. A community is many populations. So a community includes all the populations in an area. But would a fish tank be an example of a community? Mm. No, a fish tank includes living and non-living things. A community has all living things. So to recap, a community is of many populations living together. But if I wanted to make a community into an ecosystem, we'd have to add a few things. An ecosystem includes everything in a community and the non-living things, like sunlight, cloud, rocks, mountains, and temperature. An ecosystem is living and so let's review. An ecosystem includes all the living and non-living things in an area. Would water be an ecosystem? Mm. No, water is just one non-living thing. Now, sometimes in an ecosystem, organisms compete or fight for survival. In this ecosystem, the fox could verse the, the snake when they fight for rabbits. Another example of competition could be the big tree versus a small plant as they fight for sunlight. And all of this is taking place in ecosystems around you.